So this is my uh, new wallpaper slash UI to try to make a cleaner, sleeker look, easier to use for people driving a car. You know that rarely happens. But uh, so I got this idea from uh, Cookie on uh, Root Wiki. So definitely check out his um, in dash. If it'll focus, let's see if it'll focus. Boom. Well, yeah. So check out his stuff. He is doing some pretty cool stuff. He gave me this idea. So this is all thanks to him because he knows what he's doing pretty much. So he told, he gave me the idea of a user interface, which kind of slightly copied his. But basically he's using a couple programs to make buttons which these are all buttons but uh i was a little confused so i went ahead and i was using photoshop so all this is done in photoshop except for the time and the song playing so yeah so then i basically over all these buttons are invisible widgets which take you to these apps. So like, we got volume down. Whoa, 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 I don't have it locked. Okay. I probably should have my desktop locked, I usually do. But uh, volume down. So, that's pretty nice since my steering wheel controls don't work when my car's not running. Volume down, volume up. Uh, let me switch hands real quick. It's shaky, I know, I'm sorry. So we got pause. So we get pause and skip forward and skip back. So I currently I have the song playing, the artist, the album. I might change that. I'm not. I don't really know if I want the album on there. My bad. Sorry. Stay in screen. So I also got this little keyboard button because if you watch any of my other videos, you know that I'm using an external keyboard helper for my steering wheel controls to open apps. And that can be a little bit of a pain since I have no virtual keyboard. Now I just gotta flick, and it probably is gonna close, but I try to click quick, and then I kinda screw it up. So let's see if it saved it. I can't, I'm shaking, I'm like crazy. It's kinda cold out. So I turn off physical keyboard, and I choose my other keyboard. Now when I pop up Chrome or something, let's go to Chrome. I have a virtual keyboard again. Man, I don't know if I gotta restart my tablet. I got too much going on. Sometimes it's a little slow. Might have to maybe look into overclocking. There it is. Virtual keyboard. Woo! That wasn't too hard, was it? Nah, yeah, it kind of was. I'd rather automatically just have virtual keyboard up all the time. But, yeah. So got that and then you got your equalizer i just kind of downloaded this and thought I should probably put some time into messing with it but yep and uh we got power amp so power amp's gonna open up and uh my radio which that app needs to be a little improved we got navigation which I thought I had running, but apparently I didn't. Sometimes it, uh, well, I guess I did have it running, but I shot the car. Navigation. Some. Close that. Look close. Close. Um. Torque. The car ain't running, so I don't know if it'll even connect. Uh. Google Voice. Well, yeah. Search Michigan Tech. Which I don't know. Whoops, that's the horn. I don't think my microphone's working. I might have screwed something up because it's not sensing me talking out. Even though it's behind the dash trim. So, that's, um, that's that. Oh, uh, you got weather. Which can be handy. Since I travel a lot, I can just have it go in. Well, I can just click on it, pull up the map, have the map, see what the weather's like. 
Apparently the weather's pretty good. Which is nice since we've been getting so much snow. But I like snow because I snowmobile. So yeah. Doesn't mind me. So this is another thing I kind of wanted to get on top of is I have my tablet set to automatically tether Bluetooth for data for internet connection. But uh, my like tablet talk for my phone and texting hasn't been really automatically connecting because it has to stay searching on my phone. So what I I set up Tasker on my phone. So when my tablet tethers to my phone my phone will start up tablet talk and it'll search and then it connects to my uh, car automatically so now i can just easily like if i'm driving just oh hey let's call my mom or something and just click and then grab my phone and now i haven't called anyone i haven't used it but then you got your texting and I get a pop up when I get a text, so I just know what's going on. Don't necessarily have to text and drive, but uh, good to, I guess, know what's going on in case something important. So, yep, that's my new user interface. Uh, I might mess with it a little. I don't know. I'm not really sure. I was messing with, uh, what was it, LMT Launcher, I think. I don't know. It's in uh, Cookies thread. That's why I was checking it out. It was kind of interesting. Uh, you can get rid of your, your taskbar down here, which you can't even see my finger, down here. These things and that. that. But, uh, I don't know. I like I like having my clock, I guess. Even when I'm in other apps, I like to be able to see what time it is. Even though on my main screen, I got a huge clock. But, I don't know. I just, I feel like this might be easier for me. But definitely check that out, give it a try, see what you think. And yeah, this is my new interface. Hope you enjoyed it.